Very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 16th Feb, Sunday. On the front page you have Masood Azhar and family missing. Pakistan tells financial watchdog FATF. So Jaisha Mamad chief who was listed as designated terrorist by UN Security Council 1267 Sanctions Committee. Now it is said he is missing along with his family. So he has accused in various cases you can see the Patan court attack. As such, in 2016, was uh, master was he, was you know with him as the mastermind. Then also the Pulwama attack was carried out by Jaisha Muhammad. So he was behind that too. He was designated as a global terrorist in May 2019 by UN committee. And now Pakistan tells Financial Action Task Force that he is missing. Then this is India takes off Turkish president for his remark on Kashmir. So, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has given statements that our Kashmiri brothers and sisters have suffered from inconvenience for decades and those suffering have uh, sufferings have become graver due to unilateral steps taken in recent times. So, on this India has reacted saying that uh, Turkey should not interfere in inter it's India's internal affairs. So, there is a dichotomy here because India itself calls foreign envoys to come and visit Jammu and Kashmir and to look at to look at the matter and then it says others cannot talk about it too. then below you have Shah Faisal booked under public safety act so this is Jammu and Kashmir people's movement chief Shah Faisal he actually was an IS aspirant he cleared the civil services exam with rank one and he joined the civil services but later quit post uh, you know, his statements like when uh, you know, rapes were going on in the country, he had given statements which were not to the liking of the government, even, uh, you know, eventually quit and joined politics. So, he has also been detained in Jammu and Kashmir and now even Public Safety Act has been, uh, charges have been placed against him. So, he criticized the central government and this is what the government does. Then this is Vodafone says it will pay AGR dues, but its survival is at stake. So this is uh, telecom firms which have to pay adjusted gross revenue dues. We saw yesterday in news how Supreme Court was highly uh, angered by the by inaction by both telecom companies on one side and the government on the other side. So cash strip telecom companies say that they will pay the dues, but its survival is at stake. So it hopes for a reply from the top court. Then below you have Karnataka Kambala jockeys searing bolt with buffaloes. So this is regarding Kambala which is uh, uh, a buffalo racing as such which takes place. It's, a, it's an event, competitive event, traditional race. So jockeys run along with the buffaloes which he is shepherding. So, sports buff compare this uh, running as that of Usain Bolt's running. So, this is Srinivas Gowda who took part in this Ambala festival. We should know about the festival as such. It has been controversial too, just like Jelly Cut too, that it results in torture of animals. And Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act does not allow such activities. But then it is uh, continued and you know, preserved in the name of culture. On page 8 you have three Kashmiri students held for pro-Pakistan slogans. So these are three students who have been arrested by police in Hubli. Sedition charges have been invoked against them after the video featuring them went viral. And so in this video the three students are seen listening to a song and repeating the refrain which appears to be Pakistan Zindabad. So just based on this. Sedition is only in words, written, oral or uh, even in sign. So sedition, say, you know, saying anything against the government as such or against the nation results in sedition charges. Generally it is used anything against the government. So, like one country in one country, nationals of one country, if they uh, hail any other country, that doesn't mean they are, you know, sedition charges should be leveled against them. Then this is Tamil Nadu achieves drop in maternal mortality. So, this is regarding how Tamil Nadu government has uh, reduced its maternal mortality rate from 63 to 57, from 2015 to 2017. On page 9 you have, Elephantine conflict swells in the east. 
So this is regarding elephant deaths. Bengal, Odisha and Assam account for about half the fatalities in man elephant conflict. So you can see human deaths and elephant deaths shown in this, the data shown here. Then here you have ISRO to launch 10 EO satellites in 2021. So this is Earth observation satellites. So 36 missions have been planned for the next fiscal, next financial year. And 10 Earth observation satellites are in the play. So new categories of satellites such as first geoimaging satellite GSAT-1 is also planned by ISRO. On page 10 you have abroad Google Maps show Jammu and Kashmir as disputed. In India it shows Delhi is in full control of Jammu and Kashmir but abroad Google Maps show you can see image of Kashmir as different and a disputed territory. On page 11 you have Unaware of police brutalities on children. So this is National Commission for Protection of Child Rights Chairman Priyank Kanungu. He says he has no information on illegal detentions of children in jails or abused by policemen either in UP or anywhere in the country. Then on international page you have the same news about coronavirus in China, about US blacklisting Sri Lankan army officer, army chief. Then on business page, you have credit growth gaining momentum. So this is RBI chief Shakti Kandas who said that budget proposals won't stop inflation as government is maintaining fiscal prudence too. Then this is board for aligning RBI's fiscal year with government's year. So board of RBI has recommended that the financial year of the central bank should be aligned with the government's financial year. So RBI's financial year starts from July and ends in June, while government financial year starts from April. So both should be aligned. So this is Bimal Jalan's panel's recommendation too, which will be taken now. And this is liquidation remains high in NCLT cases. So this, is, this is national uh, uh, company law tribunal. So liquidation here is high. You can see out of 1,351 closed cases, only 190 cases were resolved. An average haircut was 57%, like 57% cut in recoveries was seen. So here you can see number of corporates undergoing resolution and how many have been admitted and you can see uh, where are they, like A is at appeal level, B withdrawal, C approval for resolution plan, D commencement of liquidation. Then on Sundays, you have uh, FAQ coverage, frequently asked questions. The first one is, why have LPG prices seen a sharp rise? So this we had seen in news. So this is a complete detail being given about why LPG prices have increased. So prices of LPG in the country is based on a formula which depends on import parity price. As this is the which uh, import parity price is the formula used, which is based on international LPG prices, Saudi Aramco's LPG price as a benchmark and also includes Free onboard price, ocean freight, custom duties, port dues, and others. So all this add up, added up to look at LPG price. So it is not the subsidized price which is there now. Then here you have, what are the concerns on Facebook's encryption plans? So why do activists fear the move will reduce child safety online? So this is this is discussed here into an encryption which is already there in WhatsApp. Now it is being uh, taken up for Facebook. WhatsApp is also owned by Facebook now. And this is what does developed tag mean for India? So recently we saw how USA has declared India and moved India from developing to develop. So how, what benefits India will lose because of this? How will it affect India is discussed here. Also below you have, when can a judge opt out of a case? So recusal takes place for judges recuse themselves from a case. So what is the process of recusal in court and do the reasons have to be specified? So that is detailed out here. There are no written rules actually on recusal of judges from hearing cases listed before them in constitutional courts. It is the discretion of the judge actually. So many such examples are there detailed out here. Then on Sundays you also have science and technology coverage. So here first one is convalescent plasma therapy tested on critically ill COVID-19 patients. So patients showed an improvement in clinical symptoms 20, 12 to 24 hours after plasma infusion. So plasma therapy is being used. 
and this is urban heat islands in india so this article talks of how are, why are in, cities are warmer than their suburbs and rural areas so why we become a heat island so this has already been asked by upsc in one of the examinations so this is important Here you have to avoid panic. World Health Organization will not use SARS in new virus official name. So the new virus's official name will not be called SARS coronavirus, as such, as to, in keeping with concessions. So, so according to conventions, it should be named like this. But to avoid panic, SARS will not be used in the name. Then on Sundays, you also have dispatches coverage in which important international news are covered. So first one is on Russia. This is no room for dissent in Putin's Russia. So the crackdown on anti-fascist groups is the latest case of government stifling criticism. So this is seen in Russia. And here you have, remember the dead and fight for the living. So this is an art summit in Dhaka, which touches upon the broad set of themes for geological to social and feminist. And this is good women and bad women in serials. So it talks about uh, TV serials. This is a popular TV show in Pakistan that has triggered debates on how women are depicted in serials. And finally, this is revolt in the time of carnival. So this is regarding Brazilian samba. So samba dance and the carnival here is famous. So it has been used now as a means of protest against the government. So this is being seen here. So Brazil also has a right-wing government. So that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, ashr.com. Thank you.